Good morning. It's turned out it hasn't, guys. It hasn't. It hasn't. Sorry. Uh, I'm opening a box. It hasn't turned out. I don't tell my mates back home, right? Because every time they ask me, like, you know, what's weather like? Don't say, oh, it's glorious, guys. It's lovely. I'm just having a barbecue. I'm out by a pool, you know. I've got a bottle of cider. I've got some chicks round in the wedges and bikinis, you know. Oh, lovely day today. In reality, it's absolutely pissing down. So, how are you doing? You all right? Oh. Coffee! Uh... I haven't long been awake, to be honest with you, I don't know if you can tell. Uh, I'm very tired. I did sleep better last night. Oh, I just need to put this out there, right? Yesterday, I made a video. It wasn't a very exciting video. But I don't set the agenda. I can only talk about what people are saying, what's in the news, results, fixtures, whatever, right? This channel, for those of you that are a bit dense... Right, and that's not my regular viewers. You might be someone that's just dropped in for the first time. Uh, this channel is an extension of my website, coptalk.com, which I set up 25 years ago. I don't think I've ever told anyone that. And this is a community where I get to talk to my friends, right? The people associated to the website. We're not here to try and entertain you, all right? <clears throat> now, fortunately, there's been a couple of uh, really nice messages left the last few days. One from a Villa fan, that was nice, that commented on the video yesterday. And uh, we were talking about Bugatti in that video. And there's just some really nice people, you know, like, oh, just found your channel, I really like it, down to earth, you know, a bit of a natter. Like, now I'm out. I've literally just got out of bed, right? And I'm making my first drink of the day. And the first thing I want to do is talk to you guys. Because you're my friends. So I get this guy on here yesterday, right? I said at the beginning of the video, look, same drivel that I've just said now. Look, guys, it's not, it's not going to be exciting or whatever. This is just a community video talking to people, my friends, right? And when I say friends, I mean the people that comment in the videos that have been here for a long time. They, to me, are my friends. And he says, you're just making vi uh, videos for views. No shit, Sherlock. Yeah, no shit, because I really want to make videos and have no one watch them. What a fucking plank pot. Don't worry, guys, you will not be subjected to his bullshit anymore because when I see people like that, I just hide them from the channel, which means you never get to see their drivel or me ever again. They are still commenting in the videos comment section or whatever it's called, uh, and they think we can see them, but really they're talking to themselves. And I think that's better than blocking someone because it just shows you how a bit thick they are. Crank the flange, and if you don't do Saturday night uh, streaming, you'll never know. Now, to that numpty that said about views on the video, if you were even the slightest bit educated, right, about how this shit works, YouTube encouraged people like me to make videos three minutes long, or in that region. We've already exceeded that, right? And that's to do with viewer retention, because like you, People out there are a bit, oh, I ain't got time for this, which is fine. But there's plenty of people out there that have got time to have a couple with me during the day and a little natter, all right? Now, there's an exclusive remedy if you don't like it around these parts. Or if you've just stumbled on this video, hit the fucking stop button and go and annoy someone else, you spaz, all right? Can't be doing me. Most of my videos, where's my thing? Most of my videos are very long, you know, because I like to chill and talk to people and that. So I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot if I'm here just for views, because it would make more sense to make 10 three-minute videos than a 30-minute video. Mm. Absolute numpty. Morning. So, um, this is going to be noisy, and I'm sorry, guys, but I am making it. Uh, it's just, it's heating up. Uh, so, uh, a few things first. No, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll, 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 we won't make a really long video because I do want to drink this coffee. Um, you might see claims that uh, 
that Jude Bellingham is back on to Liverpool today. You might see that, right? And they originate from the most notorious Twitter ITK account in the world. Who exists purely for financial uh, motive. Therefore, it's not like, you know, a genuine fan just having a bit of fun trying to, you know, it's, it's can't consider it the kind of like the WWE of sport. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, WWE of, of sport, we all know that it's, it's just entertainment, right? And it's not a real sport, like soccer. Well, that numpty, right? It's, it's an entertainment thing. It's entertainment. People take it seriously. Uh, it's a huge waste of my time, uh, to be honest with you. But the lad's making a fortune from it. Fair play to him. If that's what, you know, it's not my business what he does online. Don't give a shit, really. Uh, but unfortunately, some people think it's genuine. And it's important to respond sometimes to these rumours because I know today, when I log on to the Cop Talk members website, which I haven't done yet, because uh, I've just got up, um, they will be, they'll be discussing that, I'm sure. They'll say, oh, have you seen what, you know what I mean? I know it's going to be there. It's already in the, the Cop Talk chat room, uh, which you guys uh, are more than welcome to join if you would like to. Uh, you just go to t.me forward slash Cop Talk chat, t.me forward slash Cop Talk chat. You can join on your mobile phone, your desktop, your tablet, whatever you want. Uh, when you apply uh, for access to that group, then you then need to drop me an email, dunk at coptalk.com, just to verify that you're not a bot, you know, and make sure you're a real person sort of thing. Then people today, Liverpool fans all over, will be talking about Jude Bellingham today. And I want to get in early, that's why I'm making this video so early, because you might wake up to someone saying that. And the thing is about Drew Bellingham, and the thing is you might not know what the origin of that is. And by the time people go, like people will read that and then they'll go somewhere else and go, Liverpool are back in for Bellingham, you know, and stuff like that. And they don't say where it's come from. So the Drew Bellingham stuff today is that specific claim is from uh, an account that you should never, ever pay attention to in your life. And if you do, if you if you if you genuinely think that that account is real, we need to have words, okay? Because you're on the wrong YouTube channel right now, I can assure you. Um, but you know, it's just I don't know. It gets it, especially I think I always think about the kids and stuff like that. They're a bit younger, maybe fifteen, sixteen at school, and they've got social media and they're all buzzing and excited today. I just think it's a bit rotten, really. But there you go. Um, <clears throat> that's what people do. It's not exactly. Uh, Hurting anybody? Well, I don't know, though. Some people say that, you know, you, people get mentally, like, down when something doesn't happen with football. It sounds a bit silly, but they do. They get the ropes up and stuff like that. Anyway. With regards, Bellingham. I never... You know, I have not ruled Bellingham out, me personally, right? Not... That's, that opinion's not based on what anyone's, you know, like, saying in the background. You know, no one's dropping an email saying, don't listen, there's still a chance. That's not happening, all right? Excuse me. Do you mind? I'm trying to record a video. All right. Thank you. It's my rescue dog. It's not a chick or anything. Oh, I wouldn't speak to a chick like that. <laughs> we love that dog. No comparison. Hmm. I'd have sworn at her. Anyway, so no, this like I, I, you know, I just my own personal beliefs when it comes to to football, and uh, you know, from doing the cop talk gig over many many years, is that you never say never in football. And uh, you know, there was I tell you what, there was another ITK yesterday that made a claim about McAllister, and and I think that. This particular ITK, the one about McAllister, you know, when people say it's done and all that, 
you have to, when someone says to you, it's done, right? You need to say, what's your definition of done? Because my definition of done is personal terms, medical, transfer fee agreed, uh, contract signed, done. You know, that is, excuse me. Um, he's inside because it's raining, that's why. Uh, you know, that's my definition of done. Nothing can be done. The transfer window's not open. So, you know, there is no such possibility of done. Now, they might want to say, uh, well, it's all agreed, so to speak, and, you know, it's going ahead. Fine. But it ain't done. Of that, I can assure you. So, you know, people were mentioning that yesterday, uh, and I just think that's bullshit anyway. I think that's just someone... They edge the bets, guys. You know what I mean? Like, it's not exactly difficult, is it? Like, find the one that looks the most likely to be going to Liverpool and then say, oh, it's all done. Do you know what I mean? And, like, it's 50-50, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It's as simple as that. And then, two months down the line, when it does happen, they can go, say, I told you that ages ago. There are a bunch of jokers, all right? There are a bunch of jokers. And I, I, I think my long-term audience know that, people that have been here for a long time. And they get right on my, you know what. Now, the specific claim regarding Bellingham is, you know, these are big, big claims. These two huge claims, you know, McAllister done to Liverpool. Uh, Bellingham is, you know, I'll tell you, you know, this is a big claim. Bellingham has apparently uh, called off a meeting with Real Madrid uh, and they're asking Liverpool to come and get him again. There you go, there you go. How good is that? Now, that numpty that made that claim turns his comments off, do you know what I mean? Because he knows that Liverpool fans will slaughter him. Now, he doesn't turn his comments off on all clubs, but usually if it's anything to do with Liverpool and bullshit, they turn the comments off, do you know what I'm saying? Now, me, I'll be honest with you, I turn my comments off on nearly every tweet I put out, and i tell you why. Because I don't want to listen to anyone's fucking drivel. That's why. I'm not interested in... I'm not interested in anyone's opinion other than man, all right? So I don't need to engage with uh, with football supporters. Don't take that disrespectfully because on my personal account, at Duncan Oldham, you know, we've got at Cop Talk, at Cop Talk TV, at Cop Talk Podcast, at Cop Talk members, we've got loads of Cop Talk accounts, right? But on my personal one, if you guys follow me on there and you message me about Liverpool, nine times out of ten, if I've got time, I'll reply. Do you know what I mean? So it's what I mean is... I don't want to engage or interact with numpties. You guys are all right. But the general population, now nah, you're all right, thanks. I'm not really interested whether you believe what's being said. Uh, I'm not really interested if you think he's a good player. You know what I mean? Them people, you know, the ones that would follow the ITK account. Now, do you know what? That coffee is absolutely incredible. <clears throat> I'm starting to wake up a bit. So that's it. Anyway, that was it. I just wanted to tell you about that. Just You're going to be subjected to Jude Bellingham nonsense today. Like I was saying, uh, never say never. I, I don't believe anything me until it's signed, sealed, done. Uh, you know, anything can happen. Uh, right now, I, I do not think Bellingham is going to Liverpool. Uh, I did a few weeks ago. I thought, well, I didn't think he was going to Liverpool. I thought there was a good chance of it. It just seemed a bit strange that they had all their meetings and, you know, the reps come over to sit with Liverpool, what, to say no? No. What, what it is, like Simon Jordan said, whether you like him or not, Simon Jordan said Liverpool have chosen not to afford uh, Jude Bellingham. They can afford him. And you know what? This club, man, it's an absolute joke at times. An absolute joke. I mean, are you, are you, I mean, are you buzzing about this new sporting director if he's appointed? I mean, like... I know I tried to be Mr. Nice Guy, like, oh, you know, give him a chance, you know, mate, everyone deserves a chance in life. Yeah, but fucking, are you, are you like, totally buzzing about that appointment? Because I know I'm not. God. I've been more excited watching things like Gardner's World on TV. Seriously. I'll say something else at all. Tell you something else or no? No, I won't. I'll be here all day. I'll do it in another video.
we're going to be talking about midfielders when I wake up. Fucking Brighton didn't do us any favours, did they? Fucking set a useless fucking. And then there's Jamie Carragher. I woke up to Jamie Carragher this morning tweeting about amazing Pep Guardiola. Fuck off, Jamie. I don't want to hear that shit. Just say anything, don't they? Do you know what? I don't know about you guys, but Jamie Carragher and Gary Neville now, they get right on my you know what is. Do you know what I'm saying? I used to really like them when they first, you know, like appeared. It was good, like genuine banter. Now, they're just like a couple of fucking girls. That was not only girls. Not only girls. What I mean, I know what I mean. Oh, I don't like it. You can't cancel me. This has got. Every time I turn the TV on, them two are there, or on a podcast, or on summer. And to be honest, not even fucking, they don't even speak anything that I agree with. They get right on my nerves. They really do. Do you know, talking about girls, some of the female pundits, right? I'd rather watch them. I know, not watch them, I would, really. Yeah, I would, yeah. You would. No, I'd rather listen to them than listen to them two, like, pretending to hate each other and that. Sick of hearing about Pep Guardiola and Man City. I hope they get fucking thumped in the final. I really do. I really do. They probably would, but I really fucking hope it. And that Brighton last night, seriously. Hey, I'm I'm morning. I'll go. All right, I'll go. I'm gonna make another. I'm gonna make another coffee. Ah. You see, this is what I mean. I like to make videos like this, and you know what? People, you know, just say to me, I, I like watching Dunk's vids when he's just stood there having a little waffle, having a, a drink and that. Why do people have to be so fucking miserable? If they don't like it, right, go away. That's why, do you know what I mean? I never understand it. It's like when, I don't understand it. If you're watching something on TV and you don't like it, what do you do? Just go, I'll turn that shit off. I ain't got a problem with that if someone says I don't like your content. Shit. Fine, I don't care. Couldn't care less. What am I doing? Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean, guys? This like, and it, uh, what makes it worse is they'll say, "I ain't got time for this," but they've got time to to sit there and type up a fucking essay in in you know in 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 the comment section. Good. I hope that if you haven't got time for this or you don't like my videos, I hope you leave a comment because then we can ban you, get rid of you. Well, not ban you, hide you from the channel. Zero tolerance. For numpties around these parts. Zero tolerance. Right. We're gonna, Remy, we're gonna go and uh, have this coffee. It's really nice though. Bit more, please. I think I put sugar in, didn't I? Well, I don't have sugar, I have sweet then. Right, listen guys, I'm gonna go and wake up. I will be, uh, I'll be with you in due course. I expect I'll update the Cop Talk podcast today, not that there's much to talk about, I think. But I did update it yesterday, I think. Uh, and I'll update the Dunk Knows Best podcast as well, if you want. To let you know I'm getting on with the flange, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right, crank the flange, crank the flange. That one's not as nice as it's only one capsule. Right, I'm uploading this video. You think before you speak in my comment section, I'm telling you. Because I'll fucking pounce on you within seconds, honestly. No one will see what you've got to say. <laughs>